We're gonna do a double date. Emily, please tell me you're joking. Emily? Come on, Chase. Great, you're not joking. It wouldn't be the worst thing ever. That's debatable. Listen, Nicole's my best friend, you're my boyfriend, and Mike is... Psychotic? Nicole's new boyfriend. Boyfriend? Oh great, the official now? Well, actually, I'm not sure. But that's besides the point. You and Nicole are both a huge part of my life, and now Mike is a big part of hers. So that means we all have to try to get along. Do we really, though? Yes, and in order for us to all get along, we should do stuff all together. But- Shh! Listen, a double date is the perfect idea. If Mike and Nicole are gonna be a thing, then we have to start all getting comfortable around each other. Maybe you and Mike can even become pals or homies or whatever the heck you want to call it. I mean, you don't got many guy friends. Actually, you don't got many friends at all. Hey, when did this go from dissing Mike to hating on me? I've got plenty of friends. Oh yeah? Like who? You, Nicole, Zoe, you're just listing all my friends, and literally two minutes ago, you were saying how you weren't Zoe's biggest fan. Okay, okay. So your point has been made. But I'd rather be friendless and jump off a plane than become pals with Mike. That's never happening. Ugh, you're impossible. I'm sorry, but just think about it. Us four awkwardly sitting at a dinner table? That sounds like torture. Ah, but you see, we wouldn't go to dinner. Oh great. What, skydiving? The jump off a plane thing was more of a figure of speech, but... I found out that Zoe owns DD Designs, and she said I could invite some friends for a shopping spree on the house. How fun would it be if we all went there together? Nicole and I could pick out outfits for you and Mike, and you and Mike could pick out outfits for Nicole and me. It wouldn't be an awkward sit-down date, it would give us a chance to hang out. That sounds like a really fun idea. Okay, right? If it were with absolutely anyone else. Ugh, come on, Chase. I'll always support you, Nicole, but no matter what, I'll never be able to forgive Mike or like him. Okay, but for Nicole and me, can you please at least try? Okay, Emily, if that's what you really, really want, yes. Yes, I will try. Thank you. Now I just have to tell Nicole about this. I just know she's gonna think this is the best idea ever. Emily, this is the worst idea ever. Nicole, I thought for sure you'd be on board here. Okay, okay, sorry. No, it's not the worst idea ever, but do you remember that literal one minute interaction between Mike and Chase the other day? Now imagine several hours. They hate each other's guts. Okay, but now that the whole situation's been sorted out, I think we can all get along better. And what? We're just never gonna let them interact ever again? These are our boyfriends. We need them to at least tolerate each other. Whoa. Boyfriend? I mean, I guess that's what he is, isn't he? Well, I just assumed. Okay, you're right. You're right, Emily. And I do appreciate you putting in this effort and wanting to make this work. Let's do this. Plus, a free shopping spree at DD Designs? How can I say no to that? <laughs> exactly. So let me get this straight. You went to spy on Nicole's date, your ex showed up, Nicole didn't run for the hills, they're actually a thing now, and now you're going on a double date with this whack job? <laughs> whack job. I'm surprised Chase hasn't thought of that one yet. You're delusional if you think this is gonna go well. I never said I thought it was gonna go well, but hopefully it'll go okay? Yeah, well, good luck with that. I think I've realized something. I don't think all the drama in your life follows you. I think you create it. So I'm not gonna be surprised and sorry for you when this all burns down to the ground. Dang. Wow. Okay. That was a bit harsh. Sorry, Emily, but someone's gotta say it. Anyways, I don't want this to go badly. I do actually care about you, believe it or not. But I'm just pointing out the obvious here. It's Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, so I talked with Mike. He says he has no negative feelings or bad blood with you. But when it comes to the whole double date idea, he's just about as excited for it as Chase is. I've thought more about it though, and you really do have a point. This is exactly what we need to do. Because we can't let this dynamic affect our friendship. I won't let it. Exactly. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. Let's give this a go. I'll let Zoe know. Are you sure it's not too late to turn around and tell Nicole I suddenly contracted a rare disease called Mike is an imbecile-itis and we can't make it? No, Chase. You promised you'd try, remember? I know, I know. I'm sorry. 
Hey. This is a big deal for you? Mm-hmm. Okay, well then I'll put on my happy face and I'll try my best not to punch the guy, okay? I would appreciate if you didn't send Mike to the hospital. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anything for you. Okay, they should be here any second. Ugh. What? Oh, just they couldn't have picked any other person to be the face of this brand? Yeah, Zoe was telling me how apparently that was one of Patricia's conditions that she modeled for the store if she helped out her brand with her fame. Well, I'm just gonna avoid looking at that treacherous site. Speaking of treacherous sites... Hey, Emily. Chase. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Nicole. Great to see you. It's going good. Never been better. So, what's the plan here? Well, I'm thinking we buy outfits for our partners, so we'll split up. Nicole and I, and Chase and Mike. You're seriously pairing me up with this moron? Mike? I mean, great. My bestest bud. Let's do some shopping together and have a blast. Yes, let's. Great! Have fun! And try not to kill each other. <laughs> so we can really just go crazy here and Zoe's got us covered? You betcha. Oh, Zoe. Hi. Hi, Nicole. It's nice to see you. Likewise. Don't worry, we won't completely stock up on everything, but we've brought our boyfriends and we're all gonna get an outfit for each other. Sounds fun. Have at it. I've got you. Thanks so much again, Zoe, and thanks for this double date idea. I do have quite high hopes that this will get the guys a bit closer and help the dynamic. You're welcome. Anytime. Enjoy the shopping. Thanks, we will. You'd look great in this. You're right, I would. I was being sarcastic. Yeah, and I wasn't. You wish you could pull that top off. I wish I could pull your head off. Listen, bud. You better not mess up anything, okay? You better not hurt Nicole, and you better not hurt Emily. Even though Emily's arranged this all and is trying her hardest to make it all work, I'm not looking past how you treated her. But for Emily's sake, I'm gonna try to have a good attitude about it, and you better too. If you think your hatred for me is more than my hatred for you, then you got another thing coming. Uh, Emily, your plan might actually be working. It looks like they're getting along. Wow, I'm such a genius. You bet. Hey, what do you think about this for Mike? Hmm. Emily wouldn't like that. Excuse me? You heard me. You clearly don't know Emily. She wouldn't wear that. How about you worry about your own girlfriend, pal? And you really think you know Emily better than I do? She would love this. You don't know a thing about her. I was her boyfriend once too, you know. Yeah, you just never seem to let me forget. Why are you so obsessed with my relationship? Worry about your own. Or don't. Nicole could do so much better. You take that back. I'm glad you thought of this, Emily. It seems like they're getting lots of interaction over there. I know, right? Okay, I think I've got everything I want. Me too. Let's go check out. Thanks again, Zoe. Oh, hey guys. Hey. hey. You guys managed to get out before us somehow. You got everything you needed? I yep. think so. I saw you guys talking lots over there, so I'm assuming it went well? Mike's Splendidly. just such a lovely guy. Alright. So nothing's changed? No. Nope. Not at all. Uh, okay, well, let's head back to my place and try these outfits on. Your place? Oh, come on, Mike. It, uh, it doesn't have to be weird. We're cool, right? Yeah, yeah. And my parents aren't home, so you don't have to worry about my dad attacking you. Okay, good. But you still gotta worry about me. Chase! Sorry. I meant that. Oh my gosh, they look great. We did so well. You did. I'm really liking it. This shirt's like mesh or something. It's cool. Thank you, Emily. Of course. Yeah, great job, Nicole, going for that summer Hawaiian shirt vibe. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mike. You did good too, Emily. I mean, of course the outfit would look a hundred times better if it were on me, but- Really, Mike? Just kidding, just kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Please, you wish you could look this good. Okay, our turns. Wow, you guys look fantastic. Dang, looking great. 
I don't usually wear dresses often, but I like this, especially with the jacket. I'm glad. I absolutely love this top, Chase. Heard that, Mike? She absolutely loves it. Yeah, whatever. I could have done so much better. Okay, you two. Quit it. Is it time we bring this double date to an end? Probably not a bad idea. One more minute longer and these two are gonna kill each other. Yep. I do think we made some progress, though. Right, guys? Sure. Yeah. Okay, Mike. Let's get on our way. Thanks for this, Emily. Regardless of these two not quite getting along yet, I had a fantastic time. Me too. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Emily. Bye, Nicole. <sighs> How did I do? Well, you kept your promise and didn't send him to the hospital, so I think you did all right. Didn't go quite as well as I was hoping, though. Sorry, Emily. I did try, but it's nearly impossible to pretend I don't hate his guts. It's okay. It'll get better the more we hang out. More? As in, again? As in I'll have to see that menace to society again? Was it really that bad? Kinda, yeah. But I'll put up with it, because I know how important it is for you. Hey, it's not easy for me either, you know. I'm just much better at hiding it. But I need to make this work for Nicole. I told her I would. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not thrilled to be in his presence either. Yeah, well he's sure thrilled to be in yours. What are you talking about, Chase? What is that supposed to mean? Listen, Emily. I don't think Mike is over you. What? So that was episode 26 of Emily and Friends. I really hope that you enjoyed and sorry this took literally forever to get around to actually filming, but I definitely plan on having the next episode out much sooner. Comment below and let me know what you thought of the episode and what you think is going to happen next. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD Squad, and so you're notified when the next episode uploads. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!